So, hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of World of Tanks after a long, long, long time. But I've been playing a little bit more on World of Tanks again when the campaign actually started up or has been going for a time being now. We are after all already entering the last stage of the campaign. And so I was playing with the platoon previously but everyone else already left and I was then left to play alone a game. So I'm playing my AMX 1390, as you can see I have the camouflage of course on it. I uh, have the equipment, the optics, then I have the which increases your aiming speed and then the ventilation I think was the third one. I have a pretty okay crew on it, nothing amazing though. I have the six sense as you can see and uh, two of them has full camouflage crew or a true complete camouflage and then 80% on the second skill. I just wanted to make the quick spots in the hill as you could easily see there. But I'm not exactly sure what I would want to be doing here after that. There was plenty of tanks spotted as that Vezeda below there which I think would be very nice to be taken care of. Which at least the IS-8 is going to be taken care of very very soon with pretty much probably, yeah, pretty much one hit, I guess. So the IS-8 is out, but it's pretty much there, some of their, so to speak, first players. If we would go and look from the efficiency or such ratings which are there, they have a certain good player spot. As says, overall, at least from those ratings, our team should be a little bit better. But I'm going here now then with the mediums, as I'm not sure what else to do, really. I am aiming to hopefully take care of the Vezeta from there, as I think that would be a priority nonetheless. So I'm not actually noticing immediately at least that the object 140 is also spotted because it's something that I think it's the one that is spotting me when I am shooting into there. So I'm not sure if this is actually that great of a position to be shooting from. It's not a bad idea, but it's a little bit of a dangerous idea to be shooting from in the middle of the field nonetheless. So not exactly perfect play, but a few more shots into the object 140 at least. Then just wondering what else to do. Still, I'm interested in killing that guy. It is, of course, also the best player from their team, at least if you look into the ratings. Well, I'm on with the artillery, that is good. But otherwise, I didn't look at the ratings at all personally while I was playing. I was just thinking that that would be a position where I would like to be able to kill that guy from. But I was going then forward in here, I was thinking that, okay, we have this many mediums in here, maybe I can be the one to go and spot something in there, so that we could maybe go forward from here. It might have been better that I would have been somewhere else, I'm not 100% sure, but this was nonetheless then my idea at this point. So I'm driving here, but the object 140 is pretty much aiming to already go to spotting, so... And just carefully going behind here as well, forward, to see what is going to be laying up ahead. As he wants to go to spot, then it's kind of too late for me to do it. But there is a Jagdabansuri 100 plus something else in there. And I don't know how I would like to be dealing with that situation. So I'm thinking about going already to the F7 um, or 8 area. And especially when we spot the bat chat in close to the C5 now, I was thinking that I would probably should go and rather deal with it. Because it's a dangerous tank in there, plus of course the Vesita is still here, so that's kind of perfect if we can take care of this guy in here. I sort of probably have aimed a little bit longer, but I was hoping that I could track him, which I did, so I'm able to have very nice clear shots to his side, and he did miss me, probably shot too quickly. That went a little bit over, so I just wanted to make exactly sure that I'm able to get him, hopefully, with as aimed of a shot as possible. So, ho thankfully I was able to take care of him, but the Batchet has been doing a pretty nice job, all things considering. 
taking care of quite a few of our tanks, and our tanks that are up in the hill are pretty badly surrounded there. E100 isn't going to survive for too much longer. They don't have a really high hit point tanks either, but our tanks there are going to be dying. But I want to take care of the Batshat perhaps before he even manages to reload, but I'm not sure if I can do that. But still, I want to be able to take care of the Batshat before he can escape from here or do any more harm, which is exactly what I'm going to be able to get. And the good thing is that there's also the Lorraine, I think, who was able to support me, so I might have gone forward more and tried to kill him that way if there wouldn't have been some support that I was thinking that I don't want to be blocking my support. So, the patch that is off the game. I'm not sure if that this was overall the best things I could have done, but Patch chat plus that Vezeta were some of their key players though, so as such I think it was very important to take care of them. But the hill is now completely lost. We have that one artillery, they have one artillery who has been able to do a lot considering the four kills. And we have the D62 A and Lorraine here. And then me. And then there is the IS-7. Of course, very low hit points, but I do not want to be just going and charging against him from here, because there is somewhere the other I-7 as well, of course. Plus, I think it's better for me to be as well of a hidden and more of a, well, flanking tank in this kind of a cases. There is the other IS-7. The E-50M is still alive there. The Panzer E-100 doesn't have a lot of health. I'm not sure why, what exactly is going on there, though. I'm just aiming that. I don't want the Lorraine or the T-62A to go and get themselves killed, so I think that I'm just gonna go and get this guy out of the game. Which I was able to do. I wasn't really sure what I would want to do after this, especially when the Lorraine died. Which was really a shame. If the Lorraine wouldn't have died, we would have had a better situation. But the Lorraine died, so... I was wondering if I should go behind this IS-7 as well, but the problem is that the TDs are there and our E-50M already died. Maybe I should have gone into that direction, not kill this IS-7, but I really wanted to help those guys. I'm looking that the IS-7 is aiming at me, so I'm trying to just be avoiding his shots as well as possible. But this situation should be in under control, considering the hit points of our t 6 a and the IS-7 in there. Well, one could have thought so, but most apparently it wasn't okay because their batshot artillery killed him. So, all of a sudden the situation is again looking a little bit more cream. The good thing is, though, that they're all very low hit point. But I can't take more than, at maximum, two shots from one of them and I will be dead. So... I can't be that careless with these hit points, even if I have more. I just wanted to reload the gold ammo just in case, because, well, if I have to shoot the IS-7 or Yaktopanzeri 100 from front, then, well, it's a little bit iffy. The IS-7 didn't actually spot me, so I'm being a little bit cautious. I was thinking that I could... Well, one option is to just charge there and go and try to kill him that way, but as such, when he hasn't been able to spot me, that wasn't a good shot anyways. I was thinking that maybe I could just take care of him from here, which that shot might have done it if the Batshat wouldn't have already taken him out. In here I probably should ha have reloaded, but I was thinking that I was afraid that maybe some of those TDs were already too close, that I would need to be able to shoot immediately, which isn't the case, but I was kind of worried about it. So, should have reloaded, I didn't. That's pretty much all that there is to that. But I do like the fact that the IS-7 didn't know where I was, he never spotted me. The E-100 speaking that I should spot and maybe win. Which I am planning to do, but I want to be safe. I want to be in a location where I know I'm not going to be surrounded even accidentally. I know where that TD is now, so that's good. I do not know where the other two are. Even the Batshot Arty might be even here on the hill. I can't know that, but I do wish to take the care of that TD before 
anything else because I was able to spot him. I was just thinking that I'm gonna get another little spot and there is someone capping. I'm assuming that it's the Yagdabansuri 100. Personally, I would at least think that because this guy is here and I would think that the Yagdabansuri would rather go there than the artillery. But if, if the army is thinking that it's the artillery. But I personally would have rather thought that it is the uh, Yagdabansuri. But that guy is taken care of, which I am happy of. But the cap is going on. I'm wanting the artillery to aim for the cap just for the fact that I know I can go and easily spot the cap circle from here. And this area is at the moment relatively secure, so everything should be fine for me to go and just spot that area very easily. Even if some other guys want me to go and spot the Octagor in the other direction. And it's not about going for a reset, it's going for a tank that we know location of. We do not know where the other one would be, and there is indeed the Yagdama Siri 100. Who most apparently has the sixth sense, but it's not helping him a lot. I could just wait for him to turn his side for me to shoot at, and he's taken care of. But this was very nerve-wracking came at the time, because I was wondering that this is something that I have to be making the win or the lose of because of the fact that <laughs> all of a sudden there was no one else alive from tanks other than the artillery, so... It was really, really... Well, as that guy kind of says, tense, because I was worried and the artillery found the other artillery, but got killed by him. But it's good that I know where he is. This could go either way, but I should be able to win an artillery in this sort of a situation if I don't completely fail. I'm of course hoping that I'm not going to be failing, <laughs> obviously, but just wanted to try to see him. I spotted him, he didn't spot me, surprisingly enough. I know he's going there from that direction. He's also aiming there, which I can easily see, so I'm just going for him. I know he cannot turn his turret that quickly, and he is indeed taken care of. GG, indeed. I'm not sure if I made the right decisions in every turn of the game. One might argue that I should have done more in here already, perhaps not let the patchet come around and kill everything in here in the beginning anyhow, and not just go from here to then clear the area. But on the other hand, there was... I couldn't take care of the Vegeta trustworthily from the here, from this direction. And I was thinking that maybe I could be more of more use in here. That wasn't the case, but I was still very glad that I was able to win this game and get the top gun and all that sort of stuff from it. So let's go and have a look into the post battle results as well. I did do quite a bit of damage as you can see with the third most damage done overall in the game, which isn't bad, well, from our team of course, not from the other side. And of course got the most experience, 1314 without any bonuses. So it was a pretty nice game as such, I did hardly any spotting, but AMX3090 is kind of a, even though it's a scout as well, it's also a tank that is good at killing. So you're the kind of guy that wants to go and flank. It's a little bit like a small patch shot in a way. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay video. I at least was very glad to be winning it. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode whenever that shall be. So see you then.